Well, it's that end of the third day, it's the fucking spirit of the open road. I love it. You know, it'd be nice to put the bike on the fucking truck and take off and view in the fucking night when I pull in at a truck stop somewhere. But, you know, it's one of them things, I ain't got the capability to cart the bike around with me. Of course, we're getting close to that time for all the fucking sinuses and fucking medications needed and all that. Look. I don't know there's a virus going around at the moment. You gotta fucking try and be safe, try and stay away from best I can. The last thing I want is to be sick while I'm out on the road. And it looks like I got a busy fucking week ahead of me by the looks of it. Bunch of drops. Fucking big shit that we got to unload from the truck. Oh man. I know they got some fucking weight to them, I know that. All being well, I'll be in early Friday. Get my fucking schedule back right again. I fucking hate just being in for two days. You know, I like to fucking get in early on a Friday, fucking at least get more time out. Take wife out to eat or something, you know. Spend time with the kids. I think that's why I've not been out on the back as much. I could get in on the fucking Friday. Kids are now back at school, so I've only really got Saturday, Sunday to spend with the fucking kids and that. And of course, days like today, I've got to go up there and switch the fucking CBs over, so that takes time now. I could have done it Friday night when I got in, but fuck, I was tired. I didn't want to mess around, fucking around with it, so I left it and I figured I'd do it today. Be a reason to take the fucking bike out. Which I did, you know. I managed to get something on camera anyway, you know, I'll be able to get some fucking logs up this week for a change. Like I say, it's just nice to be fucking back out on the road again, on the bike, on two wheels. Clear my head a little bit, get some fucking vlogging done, get it on camera. There's something out there anyway, instead of having a fucking channel just sitting there, not doing a damn thing. But yeah. All, all in all, you know, I'm doing well. You know, it's nice to fucking catch up with some people when I get in. You know, I ain't got the computer time like I had before. But I ain't paying fucking the price for the internet at the pilots and the drug stops or anything like that. You know, I'll use the little laptop that I've got. You know, I'll use it for a DVD player more than anything. You know, I'll take it with me, watch fucking DVDs while I'm sitting on the truck, you know, I'll do some of that night. Instead of just fucking sitting there talking to the wife all the time. You know, I guarantee you, fucking, I'm pulling out a truck stop, call the wife, you know. And we'll talk fucking two, three hours. She'll want to go to bed, I'll want to lay down and fucking lay down and then I find myself being wide awake waiting for the fucking truck to rock me to sleep with its vibrations and that, you know, that's something, you know, like people sleep with the ceiling fans on, the fans going and all that lot like I do at home. You know, I've come to realise I have to sleep and the fucking vibration of the fucking bed, fucking, I can't sleep when I get home. I have to have like some fucking noise in the background or something. Because I kind of got used to fucking people having the fucking reefer units fucking buzzing away at night and fucking truck vibrating a little bit, you know, shaking the bed. You know, I can't sleep if it's dead fucking quiet now. I have to have something going on in the fucking background.
I guess I just kind of got used to sleeping in the fucking truck. Like I say, I'm fucking screwed if I go in and fucking decide to take a hotel for the night. Fuck that fucking place, too fucking quiet. Fuck, you think you get a good night's sleep? Fuck no. I don't get a good night's sleep like that. about doing hot dogs and shit, fucking, okay. you know, fucking, okay. yeah, shit like that, I fucking get fucking on the road, fucking, during the week, fucking times, so, you know, fucking can't be to go fucking grab from the fucking gas station, you know, fucking nice, fuck, I called Domino's the other day to get fucking boneless chicken delivered to the truck while I was sitting in a fucking loading dock. You know, I got the boneless chicken, 40 pieces, fuck yeah, I was fucking hungry as fuck. Got 40 pieces of the boneless chicken. Fucking eight hot sauce cups they brought me, I only needed fucking four of them. But man, that shit was fucking good, I tell you. They were fucking nice. Fucking yeah, can't get fucking Domino's down where I live, because fuck. The Domino's that we had closed down. So they wanted to start going into the subs and stuff like that and the owner who had the franchise didn't want to fucking go fucking go into fucking that lot sort of thing, you know, pay the extra money to get the equipment. So they basically took the franchise away from him. Oh he told him to fucking take it, he's not fucking doing that shit no more. And he ended up closing the dominoes down and we never got one back. So now if we want a Domino's, we've got to go out of town somewhere and fucking try and find one. I know they got one in Jonesboro in Arkansas. But you know, they won't fucking deliver to us or anything like that because we're outside their area. Which kind of sucks because fucking the only thing you're left with is fucking Pizza Hut. At the end of the day, fucking Pizza Hut sucks. You know, better off going fucking cases getting fucking gas station pizza because they're better than fucking pizza huts I'll tell you that now fucking you know I guarantee you they keep up with their fucking shit fucking 
Yeah, you don't get as much of a choice of the fucking stuffed crust and shit like that, whatever fucking Pizza Hut does. I don't know, I'm not a pizza eater anyway, fucking kids are, fucking... Me, I can't eat cheese, it makes me sick. So, fucking, I don't bother with pizzas and shit like that, you know.